your pet can be stressful, but leaving them at home can be unnerving and it can get a little expensive. So here are a few tips if you decide to take Fido with you on your trip to make it easier for both you and your pet. Step one, find the right bag. A bag like this one is great. It straps into the seat so that you can take them in the car. You can actually roll it in the airport so it's better for both you and your dog and it securely fits under the seat when you bring them on the airplane. Step two, you'll want to find a pet welcoming hotel, not just a pet friendly one. There is a difference. Some hotels will allow you to bring in pets, but pay a deposit and have a ton of rules while the pet is in the room with you. No leaving your pets, no pets on the bed, there are a number of them. Make sure you do your research properly and find a hotel that will welcome your pet. Does the hotel have doggy beds, pet sitting services? These are all amenities that you would need in a pet welcoming hotel. Step three, traveling by car. I see so many people who have their dogs on their laps or their heads hanging out the window. This is not the safest way to travel with your pet. You wouldn't travel without a seatbelt. Your pet shouldn't either. So the best way for them to travel is in the back seat in a secure car seat or some kind of a harness. If you know your pooch is strapped in, you'll be able to concentrate on driving and not get distracted by Fido in the back. Step four, make sure your pet is prepared for long journeys. When they're under the seat in their carrier, you're not allowed to take them out and it can be a little bit scary for them. So make sure you have all the essentials packed and ready to go for the journey. That being said, most flight attendants will allow you to at least open up the carrier and pet or feed your dog as long as it stays under the seat. Step five, pressure shirts are actually a really good idea for a long journey. It helps your pet stay secure while they're on a long airplane ride. Planes are very different for your dog and they are trapped in a tiny space for a long time. One of the best ways to help combat this is a pressure shirt. Thunder shirt is a good one. It provides constant pressure and reassurance for your dog throughout the flight. Most vets don't recommend sedating your dog because of the air pressure in the cabin. So this is a good alternative.